Defense against the dark It's me, Gareth. Do you have a moment? Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see, I have an idea for a fizzing, wisby inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So. I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing whisbies is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke's cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Sounds simple enough. And who wouldn't want to go to Honeyduke's? Ah, brilliant. Thank you. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Couldn't you have someone buy the dried billywig stings? They're not for sale, and you never know when the cellar's going to be locked. So, the reliable way in and out is through the secret entrance. I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. I'll need to get the- uh, You there! Uh, yes, you! I wonder if you might- uh... You wanted to see me, sir? Yes! Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington, at your service. Nice to meet you, Sir Nicholas. I know about the book you found and it's missing pages. I may be able to help. Follow me, if you will. It's not too far. Wait. How do you know about the book, and that it's missing pages? Word gets around amongst the ghosts. You were spotted with Mr. Sallow in the restricted section. Don't worry. Your well, secret's you. safe with me. This may be a leap, but I believe I know who ended up with those pages. I'd be happy to take you to him, if you'd be so kind as to perform a small favor for me along the way. Hmm, a small favor in exchange for getting those pages. Yes, it's nothing really. I'd be grateful if you could simply go into the kitchen and procure a little rotten roast beef. What are you up to now? I beg your pardon? Roast beef? Rotten roast beef? That is correct! Rotten roast beef! If one floats through it just right, one can almost taste it. Ah, mm. oh, I suppose I can do that. But why me? It's simple, my young friend. My ghostly form cannot carry it. If you'd be so kind as to collect the roast beef, I shall explain everything else in due course. 
Revelio. Ah, here we are. Tickle the pear and head on in. Did you say tickle the pear? Yes, in the painting. I'll wait right here. Uh, do try not to get in the way of the house elves. Mm, I'm already imagining the sweet aroma of rotten roast beef. A student never will in the understand kitchen. students. What could they want? Delicious food. Found themselves a bit peckish, likely. Certainly makes Rookie's job easier. <laughs> Rebellion. Hello. Can you point me in the direction of the rubbish? Towards the other end of the kitchen. If it's not taken out yet, just follow your nose. You'll find it soon enough. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Revelio. Ah, oh, there's a disgusting smell. Oh, I must be getting close. A welcome treat. Delicious. Oh, a student! What a treat! What can Finky get for you? A pumpkin pasty? Perhaps some Welsh rabbit? Sounds lovely. But what I really need is this rotten roast beef. Ah! Nick sent you, didn't he? Please help yourself. Think he supposes Nick's tired of loitering about simply to experience the faintest memory of the taste of food. Do you and the other house elves conjure the food served in the Great Hall? Goodness, no! Not even house elves can conjure food out of thin air. Food is one of the five principal exceptions to Gantt's law of elemental transfiguration. We can, however, multiply it, transform it, and of course, prepare it. Then we send it straight up to the Great Hall. Are there any restrictions as to what you can make here? Finky supposes not. However, Finky has had the best luck with the many recipes left by Helga Hufflepuff. Her quince pie has always been a favourite, but the new fangled Arbro Smokies are becoming popular as well. Is it all right for students to wander into the kitchens? Well, since you asked, students aren't supposed to be in the kitchens, but Finky doesn't mind. There's nothing that lifts Finky's spirits more than the company of students. We so rarely get visitors, and we have plenty of treats. Come back any time you please. It was nice to meet you. Thank you for the beef. Happy to help, and to meet you as well. Please give Nick Finky's regards. There's nothing like a meal prepared by a house elf. You're back. No trouble, I take it? Not at all. Finky sends her regards, along with the rotten roast beef. Ah, glad to hear it. Kind elf, Finky. Now, let's get that beef to Sir Patrick Delaney Podmore, and you'll be one step closer to finding those pages. This is all rather cryptic, Sir Nicholas. What's going on? Terribly sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. 
Sir Patrick organises the Headless Hunt, a group of headless ghosts who gather for various, uh, headless activities. Headless activities? Uh, yes, uh, you'll see. Anyway, I don't know how, but a member of that hunt, Richard Jackdaw, had the pages when he was alive. My plan is to take the rotten roast beef to Sir Patrick so that he'll allow me, uh, us, to engage with the hunt and speak to Jackdaw. Uh, shall we? Very well. I'd like to meet Sir Patrick myself and see this headless hunt. Ah, wonderful. You won't regret it. Do stay behind me. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from a young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be. What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut-tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. How do ghosts with their heads while away the afterlife? Hmm, a map. It doesn't appear to be connected to the missing pages. Best hang on to it for now. next to play our little game of hide-and-seek amongst the pumpkins. Hello again. Can you help me? Ah, Sir Nicholas's young friend. Has he abandoned you? Not at all. I need to speak to Richard Jackdaw. Sir Patrick said his head might be around here somewhere. Indeed it might be. 
Hmm. It is a bit unorthodox to include a mortal, but if you do wish to speak with him... Oh, why not? You can speak with Jackdaw if you can find his head amongst these pumpkins. Not just once, but five times. Good old Dumfrey will move the head to a different spot each time you find it. Those are the rules. What say you? If that's what I need to do to speak to Jackdaw, I'll do it. Marvellous! Of course, a mortal holding a wand has an advantage over us ghosts. You can simply blast away to your heart's content. Remember, the game's not over until you find him five times. Biggie! I could do that too if I had a wand. And a body. Yeah. Never seen it played like that. You discovered already? Looks like we need to find another pumpkin to hide it, eh, hey, Jack Daw? Whatever you say, Dumfrey. This is not my finest moment. Keep looking. You're sure to find him. Who would have thought a mortal would be so good at this? You've almost got him. Then I would be the one to clean up this mess. I could do that too if I had a wand. And a Why did I come back here? It won't be long now. You'll find him. Here we go again. Well, good job, I suppose. But we're not through with you. I've never seen it played like this. How delightful. Well done. Of course, having a wand served you well. Still, I believe congratulations are in order. Not too bad for a mortal. Now, say what you need to say to old Jack Dorea, here, hmm? You've earned it. Nicely done. But what's going on? You're not a member of the Headless Hunt. No, I'm not. Sir Nicholas says you might know the location of some pages I'm looking for. Merlin's beard. I know precisely the ones you mean. I pinched them from Peeves. How could I forget? The map on those pages led me to my demise. I was not ready for what awaited me in that cave. The pages are likely still mouldering away with my, uh, uh, remains. Quite a final adventure, I must confess. The pages are why you lost your head, and I must visit a cave and search for your corpse. Yes. <sighs> You'd think a decapitated ghost would get used to the word corpse. Say, here's an idea. Why don't you meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you where to go? I need those pages, so I suppose I'd better meet you. Thank you. Not to worry. I'll just need to be reunited with my body first, but Dumfrey can handle that. See you at the forest's edge. Hello there. 
in the market for potions, are we? What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. What can I do for you today? Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Handy resource indeed, your Professor, I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? 
I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigellus Black for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. I... I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were... uh... students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds horrible. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah, as you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Take care. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Crossed Wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? 
I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yes, Natty. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honour to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you. It's been an honour. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know.
on. Impressive wand work. I'd hate to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. for now. Here I am, as good as my word.
we meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. Just like a Gryffindor to brave the forbidden forest in pursuit of adventure. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Shall we? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. Hmm. Yes. How nice to see you, my young friend. Nothing to do now but keep going. is very lucky they've got protection. Can't stop. So better not be a drink. Afraid to take a head, are you? The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw's surprisingly as good as his word. Oddly solemn about this place. Such regal creatures, stags. There it is, just as Jackdaw described. Intramuros.
Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. No risk those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jackdaw has led me. I wonder how big this place is. These runes must have something to do with opening this door. I can shoot the symbol, but it doesn't stay lit for long. Someone didn't want casual visitors down here. I wonder if any of these spells will help me through this. summon that platform to me, I could likely get on it.
that's odd. I'd have thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot. But there's no sign of him. Solve this, so can I. Perhaps the next symbol is hidden somewhere. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Uh, uh. <sighs> Whew, it's a good thing Jackdaw didn't fall down there. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. <laughs> Not a headless skeleton in sight, but I may as well help myself to this.
I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? <gasps> Incendio! I thought Jackdaw would have been interested in this loot, but there's no sign of him. Not a headless skeleton in... So I may as well help myself to this. I'm glad Richard Jackdaw left a little something behind for me, but where could he be? Is the bridge? It's almost complete. These can't be what the head of the trajectory. Incendio! 
can only imagine how these spiders have multiplied since Jackdaw came this way. An untouched chest. Jackdaw wasn't very thorough in his search of this cave. I'll need to look around for the symbol. closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages we meet again Richard Jackdaw thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years here it is the map that brought your doom Jackdaw hmm is there something beyond this room This magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place?
Can it be? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. I'm a bit confused, sir. Why is this room called the map chamber? I assure you that all will be clear once the book has been placed on the pedestal. and carvings in the house on the cliffside. Those are of you. Are you a seer? I am. Did you know that I would be here? I cannot say more at present, except to say that your presence here does not entirely surprise me. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place.
pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? I've always said that. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Hmm. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Rebellion. Learn De Pulso, the banishing charm. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. <laughs> 